Backyard Brains brings you the Human-Human Interface, where the electrical activity of one human's muscle can control the contraction of another human's muscle. For this experiment, you need a TENS unit, a transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulator, an EMG spiker shield paired to an Arduino, an LED and relay you put on the EMG spiker shield, and optionally, a speaker to hear the EMG activity. The ulnar nerve is one of the easiest accessible nerves in the human body, so place two EMG electrode pads over this nerve. Now, connect your TENS unit to the person to be controlled, and slowly turn up the amplitude of the stimulation until you cause visible muscle movement. You do not want to turn the amplitude up too much though, as it may start to bother the person being controlled. We've modified the 10 stimulation cable to break out into two connections that plug into the EMG spiker shield. The EMG spiker shield is nothing more than our EMG spiker box, but in a form that can mate with the Arduino. The Arduino then analyzes the amplitude of the EMG signal, and if the EMG signal crosses a threshold, it then activates a relay that allows current to pass through the muscle stimulator. Now it's time to hook up the controller human. Place two EMG patch electrodes along the muscle of the forearm and one on the back of the hand. And as you've done many times before in our EMG experiments, place the black and red electrode cables on the electrodes on the muscle of choice and the nude alligator clip cable on the ground electrode. Now, if Gabriella flexes her forearm muscles with sufficient force, the EMG spiker shield and Arduino activate a relay and LED that allows current to pass through the TENS unit and stimulate the ulnar nerve of Pablo. Let's take a closer look. If you want to do this experiment yourself, you can typically find a TENS unit at a medical supply store, an Arduino at any store that sells anything remotely electronics related, and the EMG Spiker Shield from our Backyard Brains website. What can you discover? Can you modify the EMG Spiker Shield circuit so that you can actually make the microstimulation graded? Can you stack individual EMG Spiker Shields so that you can actually control more than one muscle at once? Also, what else can you connect your muscles to? A robot perhaps? Backyard Brains, neuroscience for everyone.